When we think of artificial intelligence, OpenAI is probably the first company that pops up in your mind. If you're in IT, you maybe also heard about Anthropic and Cloud models. But besides that, yeah, OpenAI is the main player. And recently, there is a huge competitor that everyone keeps forgetting about. And their launch of a new bubble has been absolutely overshadowed by the recent new image generation model from OpenAI. And honestly, it's just so crazy that people are not noticing uh, this new thing. And I really want to share this with all of you. So yeah, let's talk about Google. I can already see all of you living right now, but just let me show you this hidden gem because you're going to be shocked. And to better give you an understanding of what the new Gemini model is, let me just show you quickly this uh, report. Basically, as you can see here, their new model is on par with Cloud 3.7 Sonnet, which is crazy because it's pretty much one of the best models for complex reasoning and for programming. And what's amazing is that not only this new Gemini 2.5 Pro model is as good as Cloud 3.7 Sonnet, it's also entirely free in Google AI Studio. And that's what I have here. And today, let's just test this thing. And in a recent video, I mentioned that I want to build my own version of Apple Intelligence because it sucks and it's not available in Europe yet. So yeah, let's put it to the test. And while we do that, I'll show you how the Google AI Studio looks like, how it works. And yeah, let's just have fun with this new model. So this is the prompt. Generate an intelligence app that runs in the terminal using Python. I already have Google OAuth app with permissions for Google Calendar and email integration. I also have OpenAI API key ready. Use their API to connect it to Google services. What the app should do is listen for emails and propose free ready-made responses, accept, decline, or unsure. I should be able to accept them at a click of a button. Use the OpenAI API to generate the responses once again so it doesn't hallucinate. And maybe I should change it, not at a click of a button, but using uh, the keyboard. And first, let me show you what Claude came up with. This was one or two shot, I think. I made a small change. So let's run it quickly. And yeah, this is not a great interface, but it's working. It should probably take me like a, an, an hour or two maybe to refine it so it's usable. But let's send a test email and we'll see what happens. So let's write an email to myself. Hey, are you free to come to a dinner uh, maybe tomorrow at 5 p.m.? Let me know. Cheers, BJ. Let's send it. Oops, I forgot the subject. Dinner invitation. So it goes to my Google Calendar. And let's send it. And let's go back to the app and see what happens. It should be done every minute, uh, the scanning of new emails. So let's wait a bit. OK, we got a new email. And as you can see, I have suggested actions, accept the invitation, then we've got decline, and also we've got uh, check your schedule, respond briefly. And I've got a few options from Cloud, generate the response, mark as important or archive or skip for now. And if I hit generate response, I actually got, yeah, I got a draft response and I could send it, but unfortunately the sending doesn't work because the model hasn't implemented that. It just implemented the basic version, but it's cool that I already have a proposed response. So that's great. And yeah, in a few more prompts, this would work well. So let's now test what the new Gemini 2.5 Pro will come up with. So the same prompt and let's run it. And while that's running, maybe I'll show you 
one more cool thing in another tab. You can actually generate cool images with another model called Gemini 2.0 Flash Image Generation Experimental. Their naming is terrible, but let me just show you what it came up with. I uploaded a picture of my dog and you can see it here, it's my dog. And I asked it to generate an image of him surfing and look what we got. And to be honest, I think this quality is amazing. And once again, this is all free. There are much better limits than what OpenAI gives you. And yeah, it looks just as good. So yeah, that's another thing you should play with because we're all just looking at the biggest uh, player right now. And we forget that, you know, Google has the most amount of data out of all these companies. And I think it's really important that you monitor what they're doing because you might not know that their stuff is that good because you just never monitor it. Yeah, we should keep an eye on them and follow me if you want to uh, learn more about it. Let's check how our app is going. Oh my God, it thought for 74 seconds. So this is a thinking model. That's another thing. Okay. So let's copy it and see how it works. By the way, some of you might be looking at my screen right now and see that I'm using, using Visual Studio Code and I'll probably record a video on that. I try to switch from Cursor to Visual Studio for a month and we'll see how it turns out. For now, I haven't written tons of code, so I can't really tell you a lot. Okay, it certainly is longer, I think. Let's see. Oh, no, it's not longer. It's shorter, actually. So we'll see if it gets it right. Does it connect to the Gmail API? I think it did connect. Okay. I think it works. So, okay, so let's send this email once again. Okay, one issue I already have, but I think all these other models have this issue. Do you always struggle that the model that it, the other models propose is always GPT 3.5 Turbo? Like, who uses that? It's so old. And it's also really expensive. Okay, it found the unread message. Suggested replies, okay. So let's choose to maybe be unsure. Okay, it doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, so that's an issue. Let's give it one more chance. So maybe let's quit this. Okay, so let's just give it a, another prompt. I think I also gave that chance to Claude because it didn't work like first time. So yeah, let's debug this. Okay, let's give it one more chance. It's corrected one thing. Okay, whoa, look what happened. Oh, it works now. We got the raw OpenAI response, the accept. Yeah, and we got debug. Okay, it looks great. So let's ask it to accept. Sending reply, thank you. Does it implement sending? It implements sending, okay. Let's see if it actually arrives. Look at the Apple intelligence. Oh my God, it sucks. And we actually got the response back. Look at this. That's amazing. The fact that Sonnet didn't do that and the Gemini 2.5 Pro did. Yeah, I'm surprised, honestly. So yeah, that's pretty much the basic version of my own intelligence right now. And wow, I, you know, when I record, when I was deciding to record this, I didn't actually believe that it would happen. So that's a huge achievement right here. Well, yeah, I think this makes the point that you should really try this model and it's free and it's, you know, it's great. And if you're using cursor, then I believe that they should be adding the Gemini model soon. 
if not already. Yeah, look, it's right here and there is a max version. So it will use a huge amount of tokens to read your whole mm, code base. And one thing that I forgot to mention is that this new Gemini model has a 1 million context window, which is huge. Like Sonnet has a 120,000, I think, or even less, probably something around 64. And it's probably not using uh, that amount of tokens every time you make a prompt. So that's another thing that you should consider. We don't really know what's the pricing going to be on it, but just taking a look at the other models like the Flash, it's so cheap, like 10 cents for input, 40 cents for output. You can't get cheaper than this pretty much. It beat, they beat the OpenAI prices like a few times and they absolutely crush anthropic prices. So if they will be able to provide this model at a much lower price, then I think Anthropic is in great trouble. So yeah, thank you for tuning in for this small demo. And yeah, hopefully you got uh, some ideas to build and you will try Gemini with it. And yeah, this is also not sponsored in any way by Google or any other company. This is just my uh, venture to find the perfect model. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.